Welcome to Under the Microscope. This series is brought to you by the Real Scientists Nano team. Our goal is to provide a platform where scientists can communicate their work and interact with the public. With that in mind, every week we introduce you to a scientist working in the field of materials and nanoscience. Today we have with us Kirsten Gopfrich, who is leading the Biophysical Engineering of Life uh, research group at the Max Planck Institute for Medical Research in Heidelberg, Germany. Hi Kirsten, how are you doing? Hello, very good, thank you. <laughs> Wonderful, we are excited to speak with you. Um, let's begin. Uh, could you explain to us your research in super, super simple words? Yeah, so we are trying to build a synthetic cell, a synthetic cell from scratch. Mm -hmm. Meaning, if you look at the emergence of life on Earth, then you see that, that at some point, matter has become life, right? Mm -hmm. And whereas today, cells only emerge from, from other living cells. So we are trying to see if, whether we can actually put molecules together in such a way that uh, we can construct living systems from the bottom up. And to do so, actually, we use a technique called DNA origami. So we are not just building cells as they are uh, on Earth, but we are actually trying to find a creative solution on how life could be. And for this, we use DNA origami and microfluidics to sort of put uh, cellular components, artificial cellular components together inside, inside compartments. And then hopefully uh, we can make them more and more complex to really replicate the functions that we find in living systems. Okay, that sounds super interesting and I want to hear more about it in the extended podcast for sure. Uh, to keep it short, uh, could you tell us uh, what we will talk about when you are curating the Real Sci Nano uh, Twitter account? Yes, with pleasure. So um, on Sunday I will start actually by talking about what scientists do on Sunday and who I actually am. Mm -hmm. um, then on Monday I will talk about building a synthetic cell. Mm -hmm. uh, Tuesday, I want to go a bit into my own experience of starting an, an, a research group and research in Germany. And then on Wednesday, I will talk about what's actually going on in the lab right now, so on that day, mm -hmm. um, and talk about DNA origami, and, 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 well, because that's what we do. Right. And then on Thursday, we'll talk about the challenges. On Friday, I want to talk about communicating science and scientists, because that's something I like to do on the side. And then on Friday, Saturday, on Friday, I will talk about picking the right lab um, from from my experience. Sorry, that's on Saturday. <laughs> that's Saturday. Saturday. It's, 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 so it's quite a quite a packed week we will have uh, in the third week of January. This is going to be exciting. Thank you very much, Kirsten, for speaking to us. We are looking forward to having you on Real Sci Nano. I'm excited. Looking forward to it. Thank you for listening. To know more about us, please visit our website, realscientistsnano.org, and follow us on Twitter at realsci_nano.